Hi Kings Mountain, we're back again. I'm Jim Palinick, your city manager, and this is Updates with the City Manager. Our topic today is growth. Now growth is uh, something that some people react to in a positive way, some people see as a negative, but in the civic evolution of a community, it is oftentimes very important that we maintain and we see a certain level of growth because that means our economy is vibrant, things are moving forward, we're adding new life, new investment to the community, and it becomes important. But at the same time, sometimes when you see too much growth, it becomes difficult to deal with, to handle the change, and then to make the kind of quality decisions that are necessary to deal with that growth. So we want to sort of bring that concept of growth down to the city of Kings Mountain and think a little bit about what the future might bring when it comes to growth to our community. And as I sort of look back and reflect a little bit, I think we know that the state of North Carolina generally has been growing at a very fast pace, really exponentially. You know, I, I'm not originally from North Carolina. I come from the state of Michigan. And if you look 50 years ago or so, the state of Michigan had about 9.5 to 10 million people. And the state of North Carolina at that point had about 4.5 million people. Well, we fast forward to today, and my former state, Michigan, they're still at about 9.5 million people. Maybe they've even declined a little bit. But today, North Carolina is 9.5 million, or almost 10 million people. So you can see in this last half a century, there's just been an incredible level of growth in our state here in the state of North Carolina. And there's a lot of good reasons for that. A lot of people are flocking here because the climate is good, the economy is good, there's opportunity, uh, people enjoy being here, they're bringing their families here, you're seeing new generations come here. So the question then becomes, is that going to stop anytime soon? Well, no. I think we know it's not. And in fact, the only question is, where is the growth going to continue? And when we look at Kings Mountain, the answer is, it is certainly coming our way. And how do we know this? Because there are a number of things that portend that fact. The city of Kings Mountain is right on Interstate 85. It is about halfway between Charlotte metropolitan area and the Greenville-Spartan metropolitan area. Two of absolutely the fastest growing areas in the state of North Carolina and South Carolina and areas that will continue to drive an awful lot of growth. Now the other thing we know is in both of those cases they have seen a great deal of growth and they're looking for ways that they can find additional lands to grow in. So you start to move outward, hence the way suburbs are created and more and more, and more growth moves away from these cities. Well, the city of Kings Mountain is well positioned in that regard. Midway between these major metropolitan areas, uh, a lot of developable land exists here, and more than anything, we have a lot of uh, excess sanitary sewer capacity. So as you see, a lot of the areas that are actually east of Charlotte stop growing. Some of the areas north gr stop growing because of they have run out of available or developable land. They've run out of sanitary sewer capacity. All those things exist here. It's a very desirable location to be. You've also got a few other things working that meet toward growth happening in our community. And that is, of course, the spodumene deposits, which is lithium. Uh, there is a large amount of spodumene uh, ore that exists here that is controlled by the Albemarle Corporation that will be the subject of mining activities in the future and could continue for several decades, quite honestly. And if lithium is as important a natural resource uh, as we believe it will be to the EV electric vehicle uh, business in the, cre the creation and production of batteries and battery technology, then that is going to be a remarkably important resource for years to come. We could see where as much as a billion dollars or more of raw material, lithium producing spodumene ore, is coming out of this community. That means a lot of acti economic activity, that means jobs, that means growth. At the same time, too, we have this entertainment district that will be developing and growing around what will soon be a new destination permanent casino and resort that will be operated by the Catawba Indian tribe. So we know all of those activities. 
the fact that there's plenty of sanitary sewer capacity, developable land, easy access from the interstate, proximity between these major metropolitan areas will absolutely draw a lot of growth coming to this community. So then, what position do we take? Obviously, we don't want to simply bury our head in the sand and suggest that we have nothing to do with this growth. Uh, or we also don't want to simply say we're going to stop it because it would be impossible. There's too much in the way of individual property rights. There's too much in the way of a lot of these projects already have been approved and or entitled. So it is coming. So the question is, what do we do about making certain that we take advantage of the growth in the most positive possible light for the community and we make the right kind of decisions so that however that growth comes, we are ready for it, we handle it well, and it actually becomes a positive to the community rather than a negative. And that becomes the big question. So on this question of growth, we're gonna be coming back to you over the coming weeks and months with a lot more discussion points on growth issues. And we'll specifically cover things like the casino resort as it moves forward. We'll talk about the growing entertainment district as it starts to develop around it. We'll talk about Albemarle and their process and their progress with moving forward with mining and processing. We'll tell you about how the sanitary sewer expansion project is doing. We'll talk about other transportation issues related to growth. But in the meantime, today we want to talk just a little bit more about this idea of preparing for growth. Sort of this issue of as you strategically plan for growth, what are the things to keep in mind? How should you keep a realistic mindset? I've developed a little acronym, if you will, and the perfect word here in this case is growth. So what should we be thinking about? Well, first of all, G in growth, guidance. We need to guide growth. Obviously, quality growth needs us to be a big part of it, to make quality decisions so that we are guiding the growth as it moves along not standing in its way entirely, but providing quality decision-making that will guide good growth from essentially bad growth. And that becomes critical. The second issue here is R. What is R? Respect the lessons of the past. Respect the lessons that have been learned by others when you see growth happening. Respect the lessons that are learned when you are indifferent to growth, or you let it happen unbridled without any, what, guidance. It becomes important to respect those lessons. Respect the past, also respect the present. Respect where you want to be. Respect the process to get you where you need to be. How about O? We're gonna use two here. One is open-minded. Be open-minded to opportunities as they come along. Be optimistic about those opportunities, that you can do good things, that we will have success. So I've actually added a third in there, the opportunity part of this, but open-minded and optimistic. Next, of course, we have W. W is real simple. It takes a lot of work. You gotta work hard at this to make certain that we are making the right decisions, planning effectively, putting the things in place that are gonna allow us to have you know, good quality growth that we've prepared for, that we've arranged to be certain that we have the infrastructure in place, we have the amenities in place, that we're planning, we're thinking it through, we're guiding it, we're stopping those things that really are not good for us, uh, that we don't want to see to the extent that we can, or that we are at least guiding them in the right direction. So again, working hard in this process. What is T? Of course, talent. Take advantage of talent. We don't always have the answers when it comes to some of these big issues, transportation issues, issues land, use, land use issues, um, issues related to infrastructure, uh, legal issues. There are very talented people out there that oftentimes we call on. We hire uh, land use consultants. We hire landscape architects. We hire folks who work us through a process of master planning of developing capital improvement plans, of helping us because they're talented attorneys, all those kinds of things. It's okay to seek out talent, and we often do. It becomes very important. So if you want the state of the art, 
Find those people who have the kind of talent that they've shown that they have brought the state of the art. They have guided the state of the art and they have been a big part of finding success with the state of the art. Hence, talent becomes important. And finally, what about H? Well, H is again two different things and that is holistic and harm-free. So what do you keep in mind as you're looking at growth as it comes in the future? Number one, always keep holistic in mind. That is all things. Consider all things. Make certain you're thinking about the grand total of how everything impacts everything else. So you want to see it as a holistic approach to the community, to the environment, to those around us, to economics, to quality of life, to social justice, to all of those issues, to land use planning from a holistic standpoint. Secondly, to the fullest extent possible, make it harm free. After all, if it can't be positive, if it can't bring something positive to almost everybody, if it is bringing some level of harm, then we have to second, second guess ourselves. We have to think further about that. Are there ways to improve it? Ways to do it different? Way to step it back? So all these things are things to keep in mind and we will keep in mind as we start to see this growth and it starts to increase over time. So remember, growth is our acronym, strategic planning, guidance, respect, open-minded, optimistic opportunities, work hard, talent, holistic and harm-free. With that, I'm Jim Palahniuk, I'm your city manager and I'll see you again next time.